To get started with building a new form, choose a, either a form or a self-grading quiz. Once you click the form, it'll automatically generate a new untitled form. Start clicking on the title to start editing the, the form and adding in your title of your form. Include a short but relevant description. And then start adding new questions. You might start with multiple choice, short answer or long answer, a rating scale on a scale of 1 to 10 or on a series of stars, or a date picker. Choose the choice that you would like to use and insert the question name that you'd like to identify. Include each option, add additional options, delete any options if you need to, or add an other option. You can easily reassign these options or reorder these options by moving them up and down by grabbing the set of dots to the left of the option number. You can choose whether a question allows for multiple responses or whether it's required in order to complete the form. Use the ellipses to see additional options. Continue to add new options or new questions to your form, populating as you go. Remember there are advanced question types like ranking, a Likert scale where students can evaluate on a, a measured scale of very dissatisfied, somewhat dissatisfied, or any rating of your own choice, a file upload, a net promoter scale, or you can section surveys. As you build your questions, you'll be populating into any of the text-based fields, any statements or any options that you might li like. Com continue adding statements at the very bottom. Remember to select whether questions are required or not and continue adding until you have the questions that you'd like to see. At any point in time, you can use the preview option to preview your survey. This is what it'll look like to your students. You can see on both the mobile and the desktop view. Hit back to return to your editing view. You can easily change the theme, choosing something that you think might be more relevant to your topic or choosing a color scheme. And then you can share to your students, choosing whether it's they must be registered with their email, indicating that these surveys will not be anonymous or that anyone with the link can respond where their responses will be anonymous. This link can be posted anywhere in your course or in an email to share to students. You can take any form that you build and share it to your colleagues as a template or to directly collaborate on the document. There are some branching features available in the ellipses at the top. To, to branch, go ahead and go through the settings. Once you're done, make sure you share this particular survey in your course and you'll find the responses to your survey in the responses area on your form.